Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of my what I read in the month of July wrap up. Um, part three is actually not going to be filmed at the same time as the others are. I filmed part one just now. It is still July 29th when I'm filming these, and part three, I am waiting till after July 31st. But this way, I only have two videos I have to record on the second when I actually have time to record videos. Um, and that is my TBR takedown wrap-up and my third monthly wrap-up. So I'm just gonna get right into this and yeah. So the first book I have for this part of it is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Um, I loved this book so much. Uh, it kept me sucked right in. It kept me so entertained. I can't wait for book two. I'm not gonna give too much detail into it. I'm sure you can find the information if you need it. Um, but I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. And of course, my books are all out of order on me. Uh, but I read that from my library, so that's why there's there was the picture. After that, I read Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Uh, this book was great, other than the completely rushed ending. Um... It, she could have easily made it longer and less rushed. I think anyone at this point would have been happy to read a bigger book um, and have it less rushed. Cause it's just, it was so rushed in the ending. And I complained to Meg about the ending of this book for an hour or two after I finished reading it. We sat there cursing the ending of this book. Um, but I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It would have been a 5 out of 5 if it wasn't so rushed in the end. I have the big pile of books on my lap, and all the books are, like, what I, the first books to the last books. It's horrible. After that, I read Jurassic Park by Michael Christian. I read this in a day, you guys. Um, this was such a good book, but it was a long book. Uh, I'm shocked I managed to get through it in a day, because it is pretty long. Um, it's completely different compared to the movie, though. I was expecting to be like, oh, this is going to be such a fast read, because I've seen the movie a million times. It's one of my favorite movies, but no. But this is pretty good. It was really good. Uh, I loved it. Um, <laughs> this book, though, you know... In the movie, you feel really bad for John Hammond and all that stuff, you know. You feel bad for him. This made me hate him. I hated him in this book. But I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars as well. Yep, bottom of the pile again. After that, I read Out of Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. Um, this is pretty good, but it was actually a little boring. I expected more from John Green because I loved all the other books he wrote. And this one was just... I liked it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, but it didn't pull me in like the other three I had already read by John Green. Um... After that, I read Fate to Black by L.T. Vargas and Tim McBain. You'll see it there if I messed up. Um, this was pretty interesting. It was a little weird, but in a good way. Um, it was a very, very quick read, though, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And I'm sorry that I'm, like, kind of, like, down. My back is honestly really bothering me right now, and so my pillow behind me is kind of pushing me down. <laughs> Um, after this, after that, I read Even Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. This was so good. Um, some of it was a little creepy, but in a good way, as always. Creepy is awesome. Um, this kept me sucked in the entire time, though, and I don't know what's with my voice in the hee hee hee. But I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. Like I said in my last wrap-up, I gave a lot of books 5 out of 5 stars this month. I picked some good books this month. 
After that, I read The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. This obviously has all three of them in it, but it's a full bind up. Um, but yeah, I read the first one. Uh, I loved this book. There was a really sad part in it, but it kept me completely sucked in and entertained, and it was amazing. Um, I can't wait to read the next book. I'm actually reading it for book Tubathon. But, again, five out of five stars to The Summer I Turned Pretty. Thank you, Christy, for introducing me to that series and telling me to read it. Uh, oh, poop. I don't know the name of this author. Anna Guire. <laughs> Next, I read Mortal Danger by Anna Guire. Uh, this was another library borrow that I don't have anymore because I had to return it. Uh, but this was fairly interesting. It kept me sucked right in. Um, I'm definitely re interested in reading the sequel whenever it comes out. I don't know when it's going to come out. This is a fairly newer release, I think. Uh, but I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars, and I would definitely check it out. After that, I read Armada by Ernest Klein. I was so excited to find this book at a local bookstore that was not Barnes & Noble, and to be able to read it almost as soon as it came out. I got this maybe a week or two after it came out. Um... But this is definitely one of my favorite reads ever. I am a huge frickin' nerd, if you didn't know. Not just a- I'm a video game nerd. This is a video game nerd book. I have to say, I'm not just a video game nerd, but I mean, come on, I have the heart containers, I have the Triforce on my leg, I have a Pokemon tattoo. I am a nerd. Um... So, this was an entire nerd fest. The whole Dane book was just a nerd fest. I loved it. The plot was amazing. Um, I absolutely loved this. Um, and I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I have not actually read Ready Player One yet. And I'm kind of glad I didn't because I feel like I would have compared them. And I was forewarned going into this not to. So, I'm kind of glad I waited on Ready Player One so that I didn't compare it to Armada. Uh, I need to find out the author. I think I know the author, but I'm not sure. Ah, how am I supposed to get to this fast? I'm sorry, you guys. Alright, yes, I was right. The next book I read was Coda by Emma Trevane. Um, this was pretty good. It was different. I really liked it, though. Um, the plot is really cool. I'm interested in reading the sequel, but I don't want to spend some money on it yet. It's one of those books, like, I would like to read it, but I'd rather have it, for, I'd rather have it for a little cheaper. Um, but I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. That is it for this portion of the wrap-up. Um, my next wrap-up will be coming. You know, these are all going up around the same time within a couple days of each other, but to me, I have to wait four days to record it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys all very soon. Bye, everyone.